one of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. Todd, we've been talking about this all the way down, and then we see the crowd, the people, the fans. We just cannot wait for this fight to get on. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Left counterpunch the score. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And look in that corner right there, that is that fighter right there. They have elevated, lifted, it's like they're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. Counterpunching. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness! I admire these guys. That left shot lands. Just misses with that big right hand. to answer back. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecard. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Here's the bell for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. We'll keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. With sluggers you cannot let them get into a rhythm because this is how they train, this is how they prepare for a fight, this is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance, you've got to use speed. That's a scoring left hand. will will cave, but which fighter will it be? Good counterpunching for both these athletes. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Good left counter that lands. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers just want to mull you down. They want to walk straight through you as though you do not exist. You've got to be fit for this one. Great counter right hand there. Caution being thrown to the wind. Don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. One, two, three, four, five. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. To make or break a fighter.
And there's the bell to start round three. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything. Full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Beautiful counter shot. Punch scores. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? Nice counter shot with the right hand. Do you believe what we're seeing? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter right hand again. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. And there's the bell to start round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. counter punch this fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws and that's a very confident spot to be in what a gift what a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything when you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down it's so demoralizing it absolutely breaks your heart what else can you do Punch. They exchange punches. That left counter was perfectly timed. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Someone with a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Back into the fray here in round five. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This fight has a real good flow to it.
When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little fake pickpocket. Good counter left hand there. You don't want to trade shots. The counter left. It's obvious the spider is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way, and they'll get so angry. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. I promise you all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get that. There's the bell to start round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. And score with that left hand. left there but misses this fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots the problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you you're hurt you're gone you've got to protect that you've also got to get your shots off and they forget you can bang too Scores. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. That's another scoring shot. Phrase second win. You've got to find it somehow. And you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Nice counter shot. Walk away from each other and then run right back into trouble. Now, this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you're thinking, come on, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. There's the bell to start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Nice counter shot. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense.
This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just misses with that jab. No rest for the weary. Missed him with that uppercut. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're going to find out. Punch, counter punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Counter right. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something. Every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to... Round eight, and we're off again. It's to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. you got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Good counter-punching for both these fighters. Two were made for each other. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Good counter punch. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch. They want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. How do they use the spider's aggression against them? Off the charts action from both of these spiders. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. 
There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. He blocks the jab. I sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Catching. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. It's round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. No, we don't see a knockdown. And he finished the job. Disaster averted. Nice counter punch. Good punch. Perfect counter like this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. This can be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fighter. Fast fighter can throw three full shot combinations before you've even let one up. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You don't want to trade shots. has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. A perfect counter shot. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they... There's the bell to start round 11. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. He misses with that jab. He misses with that jab. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? Lands with the right counter. And he just missed with that left jab. There's a counter shot. Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't?
This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. That counter shot lands. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage. There's the bell for round 12. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Punch, counter punch. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. Oh, and he rocked him, and now we'll see what kind of finisher he is. And that's exactly where he doesn't need to be. They've avoided catastrophe there. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. Changes from both men in this round. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Beautiful counter shot. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. That punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Might have thought the fight a little bit closer, but the judges are in agreement. A unanimous decision win. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight. What a style. What a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This, I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight.